Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Saturday edition of the Daily Dose of Truth. My name is Karen Kimbrough, and I am happy to be your facilitator today for this morning Daily Dose of Truth on Saturday, March 21st. I'm like, March 21st, Saturday, as we have been living and moving through all the new changes in life this week, um, I have been looking for some wonderful inspirational messages and some different stories of what people are doing to move through this um, pandemic that has been uh, declared worldwide and then affecting many of us here. And what I have come across have been some wonderful things, some some music connections that I've seen people do online. Uh, new businesses um, have been popping up. Old businesses are transferring what they used to do into something new for the current time. And in my office here at home, I happen to have this poster that talks about change. And um, what it says is change is a bend in the road is not the end of the road unless you fail to make the turn. So a bend in the road is not the end of the road unless you fail to make the turn. Now, having been on this earth for a few decades, um, I've definitely seen some changes and some some things that have uh, modified our life as we knew it at the time. But the thing about spirit and the spirit of God within us, even though things don't, you know, may be new to us, we already have the answers. We have inklings and we have ideas that come to us. And in those um, different ideas, like Reverend Drea brought one of them up yesterday, that one of our local distilleries here, um, instead of making the spirit, they decided to use their facilities to begin making hand sanitizers and distribute it out to the population. I know as I've been watching some of the stories, restaurants that people used to go sit down and have those social interactions face-to-face has now moved into takeout, complete takeout of their entire menu down to the beverages um, that were not able to be taken out before. So they are adapting to change. Um, There's a, what is it, a market down uh, gifts and gifts and trinkets down in the Pont City area. I believe that person there, they have shifted what they did everything in person to make it online now, or they're starting to sell and move their inventory online. Change is a key thing that we have to embrace as we move forward and know that it's okay because I was just thinking of that song, everything must change. Nothing stays the same. The young become the old. The winters do um do unfold. And I'm just like, oh, man, that is so powerful, so interesting. But in the midst of this change, some of us may not totally feel equipped with what's going on. And I know I have um, just a little inspirational thing that I had written before, and it's called learn. So in in this era of change, we have to kind of learn and do different things, do things a little differently. And in here, believe it or not, I was looking at the date. I'm like, 2002. Wow. Um, so I've been kind of in this motivational thing for a while, but it says, let everything around you reveal newness. So we look at LEARN as an acronym, and I know the LT365 community is used to Reverend JC doing acronyms, but it must be something about that Kimbro name um, because L-E-A-R-N, let everything around reveal newness. So in this era of change, we have to start looking at our resources, look within ourselves and see what's good 
that we can shift and use for what people need. While we are filling needs, that's what, what the whole thing is about businesses and moving through and growing through. We have to learn something new sometimes or learn a different way of doing something or using the resources that we currently have. So in learning, we allow and we permit our mind to open up to know that there is another way to do things. And then as we look at everything around us, Let's declare it good because within truth, we have the power to speak the word and to speak the word to be good and all good. So everything that's around us, even though people aren't necessarily looking at this pandemic as a good thing, we have to find the good in it. It's like in divine order. We don't get to know necessarily everything that's happening or the reason that things are happening. and but we have to trust and believe and know that all things are working to our good. So look to the seasons, look to the trees. During the four seasons, the trees go through what it looks like is a metamorphosis. Um, right now we're in the midst of spring. Spring just um, officially cha- turned in yesterday. And with the spring comes what appears to be new life. But some people say that life was just dormant in the trees, in the plants, in the flowers that are around us. Because in the wintertime or in the fall, as they fall off and then you don't see anything but just the the shape of the trees, the, the branches of the trees or the skeleton, know that there's still change and life going on with those trees. And everything around us, similar to those trees, is going through change, and it's all good. So around you, surrounding you, what do you have around you? Do you have a computer? You have a telephone for sure because you're on this call this morning. Thank goodness that we have technology. We have the phone And even the way we communicate by phone now is not just dialing or pushing a few numbers. We can actually do FaceTime Live. We can do Facebook Live. And we can Zoom and churches and other organizations that normally meet face-to-face, they are using the tools they have to go online and still stay communicated. And what we have... uh, If we're not sure, we need to reveal and uncover. So go deep. We have time now. As we're social distancing and and using the CDC and the World World Health Organization's ideas to keep each other safe and to heal, let the body do its natural healing, we have time to uncover and reveal things that are right in our midst that we can use as tools to bring forth. And then just look to the newness, make it fresh, what we have. Look and see if there's new ways. Like I said, um, the distillery, the restaurant, um, neighbors in New York, they're stepping out on a balcony and having concerts. Uh, For those on Facebook, I posted John Legend did a a stay-at-home concert, him, his wife, and the kids, and he just did an impromptu about almost an hour long. So embrace this moment, and learn something new. Use your tools. Make a difference right where you are. So with that, I'm saying so it is, and take a moment and close out the outer if you can, and go within, knowing that all is God. God is all good. Every idea, every thought, comes from divine mind, infinite intelligence, and we are one with that thought, with that intelligence. And knowing that we are one with that, we we can choose to tap into the good of all and gain understanding, our spiritual tool of understanding. Just ask what we need to ask, what we need to know. And learn something new. Be open and willing to learn something new. And 
knowing and being willing to learn something new, we spread this good news, we spread this word, we spread this thought, and we override any fear thoughts that are in the universe, in the atmosphere with thoughts of love, with thoughts of hope, with thoughts of knowing everything is all right as it already is. And we will get through this too. With that, I send this word to the corners, the ethers, knowing that it will return to us after finding more of its kind, blessed, magnify and multiply. And with that, I give thanks and say, and so it is. And I have an affirmation for us today. And it says, well, I'll say it once, and then together we'll say it three times. I am fully equipped for every situation that comes to me. The spirit of God within has all the answers. I am fully equipped for every situation that comes to me. The spirit of God within has all the answers. Two, I am fully equipped for every situation that comes to me. The spirit of God within has all the answers. And one last time, I am fully equipped for every situation that comes to me. The spirit of God within has all the answers. And for our announcement, um, we have a few. We are changing the way we do things, but we are still in service. So at Living Truth 365, one of the first concerns is for the health and safety of our congregation. So after much prayer and careful consideration of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention guidelines on the COVID-19 pandemic, we have made the difficult decision to cancel public gatherings in our sanctuary. Instead, we will stream our regularly scheduled services online via Facebook Live. If you have not already done so, please go to the Living Truth 365 Facebook page and like it. Then join us via live stream Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. And once the restrictions for public gatherings have been lifted, we will resume our regular meetings. And this Sunday, March 22nd, please join online for a conversation about the COVID-19 pandemic. Your thoughts, feelings, fears, and what we know to be true. As metaphysicians and students of truth, we know that all is in divine order and this too shall pass. We must continue to use our faculty of wisdom as we move through these upcoming days and weeks and act accordingly. Please let the ministers of LT365 um, know if you need to talk and know that they are with you. We are with you, all the ministers, all the ministerial students, the whole family of Living Truth is in prayer, looking and knowing that the right things are coming out of this. Today, topic, of Course in Miracles, 1130 to 1. Uh, if you are on the text stream, you should have received the text for the Zoom meeting for A Course in Miracles. And know that um, yoga and meditation and our hike has been postponed until we are given the all clear that we can resume our regularly scheduled activities face-to-face. But A Course in Miracles is online today at 11. So if you did not reach, receive the text, reach out to one of the ministers for the information. Everyone be blessed. Again, my name is Karen Kimbrough, and it's been my honor to share knowing that everything is already all right. Peace and blessings. I love you.